Okay guys, today I've got the whiteboard in front of me, I've got the markers, and I wanna teach you how to make $15,000 a month, this is no joke, $15,000 a month on an Airbnb in Florida. So, let's just dive right into it. I am under contract. These are how I run my numbers, and I want you to kind of see what I'm thinking. So I want to buy this beautiful, this is my condo. This is my condo, and we're gonna add some waves because it's in Florida. You know what we need? We also need some birds. It's so pretty. I'm in Florida, and I want to buy this condo for $680 thousand dollars. I know that seems like a big number. This is the thing when it comes to real estate. If the numbers make sense, it doesn't matter how big or small they are. If the numbers make sense and can make you money, let's work the numbers. This is what we're doing. So for $680,000, I want to buy this condo. Now, it is a condo tell. Okay, we're gonna do a whole other video on how I'm gonna get financing on this because it can be tricky and you're gonna see a ton of YouTubes out there that tell you that you can't get financing or it's just really hard to get financing on a condo tell. I'm gonna stay positive, I'm going to close this deal and we're gonna do a whole other video on this. But when you buy a condo tell, you have to put 25% down. I didn't have an option for the 20%, I had to do 25%. What is that number? That number is going to be $170,000. I know this is big money. Remember that there's a lot of fun ways that you can do this. It doesn't always have to be your money. You can think about partners if you want. You can do three-way partners. Get creative on that one. You can come up with that. Yes, you can. You can do that. And if you can't do it personally, then go out and seek some partners. All right, so I've got $170,000 that I'm putting down. Now, my interest rate is going to be a little bit higher than I would like because it's an investment, it's a condo tell, and interest rates are moving. So right now, I'm looking at locking in about 4.75%. So what is my mortgage gonna be? I'm gonna do this one in red because it's the one that I don't like paying, right? Oh, we're gonna do two things in red. We've got an HOA payment also in here and it is going to cost me $1,000 a month. Do not judge, people, don't judge. There is so much that I get with this HOA. This is prime location. I'm gonna get a spa, spa services. I'm getting multiple pools, spas. I'm getting gyms. I'm getting concierge service. I'm getting all kinds of stuff with that HOA. So again, don't let that scare you off. You just gotta work the numbers. Now, with $170,000 down, 5.75%, my HOA being 1,000 bucks, my principal interest, my principal interest, taxes and insurance is going, oh, plus HOA, plus the ugly HOAs, is going to equal $4,668 a month. Scary, right? $5,000, you're watching a video where some chick's gonna tell you to go buy a condo in Florida and rent it out for an Airbnb while having overhead of over $5,000. She's crazy, right? Stick with me. In the low season, this, I'm gonna wait for my blue, my blue's gonna come in later. In the low season, low season, low season, this condo is renting, and I've already reviewed all the numbers, this is facts, it's renting for $250 a night, okay? In the high season, let's just do this, season, it is renting for, this was crazy, didn't believe it until I actually saw it in black and white, it's renting for $750 a night. Holy cow. Now, you can run the numbers just low season, just high season. For this video specifically, I wanna just go to my averages. So my average with that is gonna be $500 a night. Okay, so let's, for ma the napkin math, the whiteboard math, let's use $500 a night. So if I rented this for $500 a night, because that's my average, and I rented it for half the month, because again, I don't want to kind of go to my best or worst case, we're gonna go right in the middle. So if we did $500 a night at 15 nights, I wish I would've done that one in blue, because this is gonna be the big epic one. Then I would be making, dun, 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 dun. let's do it in blue now, Felicia, bring in the blue. We are going to make $7,500 dollars a month. Now, you don't have to be a quick whiz in math to go, this number in blue is bigger than this number in red. But to just do the quick math for you, we're going to subtract that mortgage payment, okay, a month. So I'm making, on average, $7,500 a month. I'm going to subtract my mortgage payment. Let's do this in blue. So my kind of worst case scenario, I could potentially bringing in 
almost three grand, $832. So that was $2,832 a month, okay? So first and foremost, can this unit pay for itself? Can this unit pay for it? Once I put down the money and I get it all pretty, can this unit pay for itself? Yes, it can. So now you've clicked on this video. So you wanna see where the $15,000 is coming from. Well, let's do some fun numbers. This is the reality of everything, my, my overhead. This is my averages. So on average, I think I'm gonna make about three grand a month. Not bad, thanks for watching, but let's talk about the $15,000 a month. Well, I saved this entire part of the whiteboard for all of the fun numbers, which is going to be the $15,000. But how does she make the $15,000? That's how we're gonna do it. We are gonna rent this bad boy. Now, let me kind of backtrack for a quick second. These are the numbers based on the condo in its current condition, which isn't very pretty. So I want to judge it up and make it pretty, and I'm gonna bet on myself. I'm gonna bet that I can rent this out for that $750 a night. So let's just do some of that $750 a night math. $750 a night, no kidding, this is what it's renting for. Now let's go ahead and rent it out for, let's say 20 nights. So for 20 nights, that's still giving myself slop. I believe that I can rent it out all, all month long, but let's just do some fun math. So for 20 nights at $750 a month, that's where you're gonna get the $15,000. No joke, this is real stuff. I reviewed the numbers in the condo and there were, night, there were months where they were making $18,000. $18,000 a month in its current condition. So I can take some of this money and I plan to take some of this money and I plan to put it aside. One of the little things I wanna say is whenever you do an investment like this and we've got like peaks and valleys, right in the market, the Airbnb world, where we've got the low season and high season, always utilize some of that high season to, you're gonna have a bank account that you're gonna establish. This is my little piggy bank. I should have done a pig, I could have done a pig. And I am going to take some of that money and I am going to dump it into my bank account, bank account, until I have probably at least 20K. So that on my low season, this property is always going to sustain itself. So anything happens and I need to cover this $5,000 a month, I don't wanna cover it, I'll just have my bank account cover it. So when I'm making money like this, just know that personally, I'm not putting it in my pocket, I'm putting it in my bank account. I'm trying to grow that bank account to about $20,000 so that this $5,000 overhead can at least sustain itself for multiple months should I have to. So my worst case scenario on this condo tell right now, my average that I'm looking at is making about $3,000 a month, 28, 32 to be exact. Some of my best case fun numbers. Let's do some more stuff. We need to like, this is crazy. This is crazy madness, right? I wanna make that $15,000 a month. I'm gonna stash some money aside for a rainy day. I'm gonna make the condo look better and Thanks for watching. That's how you buy a condo tell in Florida and make $15,000 renting it out. Super tourist season. I hope that you liked this video. Remember at the end of the day, if you have any questions about Airbnb, real estate investing, real estate related, anything, comment below for sure. But remember who is your homegirl? I'm your homegirl.